finding both low calorie and high protein foods can be challenging, but it's so important to get this right because snacking can either help you reach your goals or ruin your chances of progress altogether. I'm Maria and I'm a registered dietitian and this is something many of my clients struggle with. So today I'm gonna to share my top 12 favorite low calorie high protein snacks. And these are all really easy to make and they can be made in under five minutes for most of them. So let's get straight into it. Now, if you're looking to lose weight, maintain your weight, or just improve your general health eating practices, high protein snacks are great because they are satiating. And this can help you stick to a calorie deficit, reduce cravings, prevent overeating, and just make healthy eating that little bit easier. Now, protein isn't the only nutrient to think about when it comes to snacks but it's a really good place to start. And it's the first nutrient that I would prioritize when I am choosing snacks. Now there is no rule about how much protein you should have in each snack, but as a general guideline, getting 10 to 15 grams of protein per snack is a good place to start. And this is what I encourage most of my clients to go for. Now how much protein you overall need to be getting into your diet daily is going to differ for each individual person. I have a full video which will help you work out your protein requirements. So I'd recommend watching that one after you finish this one. So I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite ones, which is Greek yogurt. Now a 100 gram serving of Greek yogurt will nearly always have 10 grams of protein and somewhere in around 100 calories or less. Now for the most part, I like to choose a plain unflavored Greek yogurt, but I do have a sweet tooth. But my reason for this is I will either add sweetness myself by adding fruit or I will add a drizzle of honey. But by choosing the plain unflavored version, I am then in control of how much sugar is added. Now yogurts are confusing. The labels are difficult to read, but I've got you covered because I have a whole video on this topic about how to choose the best yogurt for weight loss. But this is a snack that I personally go to almost every single day. Now my next favorite high protein snack is cottage cheese, which has been going viral on social media recently and for good reason. And half a cup, so just over 100 grams, is going to give you 14 grams of protein. And it's a complete protein at that, meaning that it contains all the essential amino acids that your body needs. Now you can use a low fat cottage cheese for lower calories, but if you want, you can offer the whole milk version if you prefer. And again, what I love about cottage cheese is that it's extremely versatile. So you can have it as a sweet option, just like with the yogurt, with a drizzle of honey, add some berries, add some nuts, or it works really well as a savory snack too. For example, what I've done here is I've topped a bowl of cottage cheese with some sliced cherry tomatoes and fresh basil. It's like having a mini Capri salad, but with that protein twist. Then you can drizzle a little balsamic vinegar on top for an extra flavor punch. Now I love a good snack, especially when it's paired with a cup of tea. And crisp breads are my go-to option, but I always make sure to add a protein rich topping to keep it balanced and satisfying. So if you haven't heard of crisp breads, they are these crispy whole grain traditional Swedish bread that is made from rye flour. And common brands are Ribita that you see in Ireland and the UK, and Wasa is one that I see in the US, but there are many others. And each slice has about 1.5 grams of protein, but it also contains about 2.5 grams of fiber. And combining these two make a really healthy and filling snack. And again, they're extremely versatile. Some of my favorite ways to dress them up are like what I've done here. So you can use a fresh mozzarella or a cottage cheese and drizzle some pesto with tomatoes on top. Or if you want something a little bit more sweet, you could do peanut butter, an apple or banana. And I sprinkled some hemp seeds on top here as well to give a little bit more protein again. And another really amazing combination, which is a little bit different. I put a recipe for this up on my website recently and everyone loved it but it is a lemon whipped honey ricotta. And then I put roasted peaches on top and a drizzle of honey. Honestly, this is delicious, so I really recommend trying this. But there are so many different ways that you can dress up these crisp breads to make them high in protein and to make them in a way to satisfy whatever you're craving in that moment. Now I'm gonna pause here and ask that if you're enjoying the video so far, I would really appreciate it if you hit the red subscribe button below. It really helps support my channel so I can continue making more videos. And if you're looking for more healthy high protein recipe ideas, I'd recommend following me over on Instagram. Now next up, I have tuna salad on cucumber slices because a can of tuna has about 20 grams of protein and in and around 100 calories. So it makes for a really good high protein healthy snack but you just want to find fun and creative ways to enjoy it. So all I've done here is I've mixed a can of tuna with a bit of Greek yogurt, a bit of mustard and your favorite herbs. 
You could add some celery, tomato, red onion, lemon juice, whatever you're feeling. Even some capers would actually be lovely here as well. And you scoop it all in together and put it up on the cucumber slices for a lovely crunchy, low carb, high protein snack. Another great option is an egg salad, but again, we're making it that little bit more exciting by placing it into these lettuce boats. You can make your egg salad whatever way you like. Maybe that's low fat mayonnaise, maybe it's mashed avocado, add some spring onions, add some seasonings, but wrapping it in this crunchy lettuce leaf and then voila, you have this lovely, quick and easy high protein, low calorie snack. Now this next one is again very easy and because of that it can run the challenge of appearing pretty boring but boiled eggs are a staple in my fridge. I always have a handful ready to grab from my fridge door. You can cook them in 15 minutes, let them cool in cold water and then keep them in the fridge with the shells still on. This keeps them fresher and it stops this eggy smell from leaching around your fridge. But instead of just having them as boring boiled eggs you can make your own fun versions of deviled eggs. And I've seen lots of people doing this on social media lately, and it's a really delicious snack and just makes it that little bit exciting that you're not just having plain boring boiled eggs as a snack. Hummus is another really good option that's going to give you both protein and fiber. So it's perfect as a dip with some fresh carrot sticks or, or with some celery, and you can use store-bought to make life easier, or you can even make your own. I have a recipe for a high protein hummus with a secret ingredient that increases the protein content and it also makes it extra creamy. So I'd recommend checking that out. But I make a batch of this hummus nearly every Sunday as part of my weekly meal prep. And then I have it as a snack during the week, or I can add it into salads or bowls as I go on. And making your own hummus, it might seem overwhelming initially, but honestly, after you have made it once or twice, you'll realize how easy it is to do, and then you'll probably never buy the store-bought stuff again. Now this snack idea is super fun, and again, we're combining protein with fiber. So we're having apple nachos here. You wanna slice your apples nice and thin so that they resemble nachos, and then you want to dip them into this Greek yogurt fruit dip. So, Simply all it is is some Greek yogurt with peanut butter and some vanilla essence. You can add chocolate chips if you like, you can add honey, you can even add protein powder for even more protein if you like. Whatever you're kind of fancying at that moment to make it that little bit more indulgent or keep it that little bit healthier. Now we're gonna take a slice of Swiss cheese and we're gonna add some sliced turkey on top and we're gonna roll it all up. If you wanna be even more creative, you can add some relish or some cranberry sauce here too for some extra flavor. But in this little snack, you're gonna get 20 grams of protein and in and around 200 calories. And it's really satiating and a fun way to just take some two simple enough foods, pair them together and make it into a more fun snack. Now these roasted chickpeas are bursting with flavor and they're packed with plant protein and dietary fiber. They take just five minutes to prep and they can be made in the oven or in the air fryer. And if you like something salty or something crunchy, these are perfect for you. I have a full recipe on how to make them, but you can change things up with different spices depending on what you like. And you're going to be getting around 11 grams of protein per serving. I usually make a batch of these every single week and I'll have them as a snack or they're also lovely as a crunchy topping to add on top of salads or to put on top of your hummus as well. And if you're looking for some nibbles to have on the couch and you really want something, these are much better than going for your potato chips. Now my last one is just a really simple snack plate because really nutrition does not need to be complicated. You can take any protein source that you have in your fridge, whether that is a boiled egg or some string cheese. And then to just make it that little bit more balanced, you can add some kind of a plant. So that could be whatever chopped vegetables that you might have on hand, or it could be some fruit. But it's really just showing you that snacking can be simple. You just need to pair the right things together. So there we have it, 12 high protein and low calorie snacks that can mostly be made in under five minutes. Now I have another video on the way out soon with five more of my favorite high protein snack recipes. And these are ones that I personally make most weeks. They require a tiny little bit more effort, but they are totally worth it. So stay tuned for that video. As always, thank you very much for watching. Stay happy and healthy, and I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching.